North America as we know it is extremely advanced. It alone has been responsible for the creation of cell phones, landing on the moon, and the internet. We picture the average American as an average Joe with a boring office job, a family, tons of non-essential possessions, and following his or her own passion in their free time. It is a modern and advanced concept that people are able to focus on a job and their aspirations in life, as opposed to the food in their bellies each night. The natives of North America were far from advanced in the ways we picture it today. So how is it that we've come so far? The answer is quite simple, the conquering of North America by Europe. In 1492, Christopher Columbus became the first European to discover North America. Immediately upon arriving, he began to mass murder all those natives to North America. But how was it that Europeans were so easily able to conquer the indigenous people of North America? To answer this, we must look at what North America naturally gave its people in order to succeed. A civilization must make a number of tools, and must be advanced enough to support its people. The natives of North America were unlucky because there were a number of issues with the land that did not help the success of its people. The number one most important aspect of an advanced society is its ability to create a strong agriculture. This allows the specialization of labor to focus on non-essential things that help advance the civilization. North America was reasonably fortunate in this respect because they were blessed with high quality soil and a number of domesticable plants. These include maize, squash, and beans. But why is it that so few civilizations of North America developed agriculture? There were no domesticable animals in all of North America. Animals are the driving force of a durable agriculture. Can you imagine carrying a plow for hours on end to supply food to your community? Because I certainly can't. Another key advantage of a large amount of domesticable animals is the proximity to the diseases these animals carry. Over a long period of time, being close to these infections ultimately creates immunity to diseases. Since North America had little exposure to diseases, thousands died from sickness when Hernando Cortez conquered Mexico in 1519. Smallpox, yellow fever, and tuberculosis were some of the most dangerous diseases that the natives of North America suffered from when they first made contact with the animals from Europe. 25% of the Aztec Empire was lost to smallpox alone. The few number of domesticable animals was the single biggest reason North Americans were so easily conquered by their European counterparts. The climate in North America is vastly different all over the continent because it is mostly oriented north to south. This was another huge issue with the continent. It has almost every ecosystem imaginable. Volcanoes, floods, earthquakes, and droughts can all be experienced in North America. This makes it difficult to share crops and animals across the region, as well as making it hard to travel through the continent. Another main issue that connects to the bad climates in North America is the isolation and trading issues that come along with the continent. South America is the only landmass that connects to North America, and it is hard to reach South America by foot for most places in North America. This makes it challenging for the natives of North America to learn from other cultures and adopt their inventions, leaving them behind most other continents. Also, as previously mentioned, it is oriented mainly north to south, so the range and ecosystems differ. This too makes it difficult to trade because many of the animals and crops you would want to trade are unable to live in all the various ecosystems in North America. These issues are some that can completely set apart cultures in future success. Although this is all strong evidence that North America was not successful in strong civilizations, it would be rewriting history to say that there weren't developed societies in North America before the Europeans discovered it. The Aztecs, who resided in Mexico and stretched for about 80,000 square miles with between 5 and 11 million people, were the strongest empire to succeed in North America. But how were they able to do so with little help from their land? The Aztecs began by developing a strong agriculture with beans, corn, squash, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes, using only manpower to farm. They did this by using a system they created called chinampas, a system that literally allowed them to create new land to farm on. A chinampa is an artificial island built in lakes that look almost like narrow football fields. They were built by weaving a web of sticks and piling reeds on top of them. Mud was then packed onto the top of the structure. This invention alone allowed the Aztecs to create a unique and incredibly strong agriculture. Although trading was an issue, they were the first to create a strong agriculture in their region, so people were naturally flocked to them. This meant the majority of inventions made in North America were made by the Aztecs. This is where their isolation helped them grow. Since other groups could not trade either, the Aztecs always had the upper hand. 
they also used brutal force. The Aztecs were not interested in making deals. They focused more on conquering other places quickly using force. They would enslave captives or use them as human sacrifices for their religious ceremonies. Although they were the strongest empire in North America, the Aztecs were taken over by the Europeans primarily because of their little exposure to diseases and their small number of inventions on a comparative basis. About 5 to 8 million people died from these diseases, as mentioned before. This was the biggest downfall of the Aztec Empire. Overall, North America was reasonably well off in regards to agriculture and plants, although its little exposure to large animals, its isolation, and trading issues had a major impact on the fall of its large civilizations. The North American land deserves a C grade in its ability to create advanced civilizations. It was not the North Americans' fault they were conquered by Europeans, they were simply unlucky in the place they were born. North American land has come a long way. Today, it is home to one of the greatest economic powers in the world, and is responsible for some of the most groundbreaking inventions, despite the unlucky land they were born on.